and its life, you see. It is dynamical energy field. And this energy field uh, has its own life, its own variation. It's not stable. We are not stones. We are not metal subjects. Variate in our life. We have some transformation, daily transformation, monthly transformation. We, have, we transform in life. That's why we tell that we are measuring energy of life in lifespan. And based on statistics, based on huge databases, we can evaluate what does it mean for a particular person. So in medicine, I was lucky from the very beginning, uh, we met very top level medical professors in Russia, and we've done a lot of research in our universities, in Moscow, in St. Petersburg, Novosibirsk, other universities. Then we, it was very interesting research done in NIH, National Institute of Health of the United States, in Europe as well, uh, in other countries. So it is really uh, people who was interested in this. Because uh, now I'm, I know that uh, there are a lot of professionals in different parts of the world, in different professions, who are interested in something new and who are ready to spend their time, their efforts to study something new. And a lot of data you can find uh, published, in particular in this book. It is available from Amazon.com. We uh, make analysis of uh, more than 160 clinical observations in medicine, uh, so, and done by different people, of course, different professionals. We have many papers published in peer-reviewed journals with many, many observations. But again, I don't want to make you boring with graphs. Because you know that it's uh, saying if in a book you can find one graph, it diminishes the number of your readers to 20%. Uh, but we try to make a bridge. Bridge between traditional Chinese medicine, we use the notion of meridiums. Between Ayurvedic medicine, we use the notion of chakras and we create the chart of chakras. And classical Western medicine, because we are based on notion of organs, systems. So we try to bridge this all together. Because you know that in your countries, you have thousands of years of wisdom based on very clever people, and it's proven by thousands of years. Our Western medicine is very young, maybe 200 years only, but still it has tremendous progress. So if we combine this together, if it will be beneficial for both sides, that's what we try to do. And plus, uh, we try to combine science, very strict science, with spirituality. So this is the, how we make analysis of chakras, and we see um, parameters of chakras, we see alignment, we have parameters that evaluate the size of chakras, and it's uh, different from other analysis because it allows us to evaluate the inner self of a person, psychological attitude, some spiritual topics, and uh, from this we can uh, detect very interesting features. And of course, as I've told, it's based on uh, traditional Chinese principles, so in China, in Japan, they, they use it a lot, our analysis. And of course, uh, before we introduced it to medicine, we've done a lot of clinical trials. And um, it was, for example, a very interesting uh, uh, study done by uh, one of our professors in big university, in big clinic. And they've been comparing readings, energy readings, with all possible classical analysis for more than 500 people. And you see that correlations between two was from 80 to 95 percent. Plus, it was proven that it's a lot of predictive power for this analysis. So we claim that we have uh, uh, prediction power of this analysis about 80 percent. That is what we claim. And of course, there are some cases that are not clear. But in many cases, it is very precise. So when uh, doctors start using this, they ask, oh, is it true or not? I always tell them, please don't believe. Take yourself and try. If you don't like, just give it back. And uh, it's interesting that in 18 years of our development, never, ever, it was negative response from people who've been using. 
so it was better, worse, but still no negative. And uh, as I've told, it is analysis of functional state of mostly aut autonomic nervous system. And this uh, allows us to give express analysis, express diagnostics of well-being and potential problems. Very important that it's not only analysis, but it's follow-up. For example, now we work in cancer hospitals, and uh, our doctors tell that they are not interested in diagnostics. People are coming there who are having these problems, who are diagnosed with many, many instruments. But let's imagine they have surgery, they have chemotherapy, they have radiation, then they let go. But what else? What will be in a year? What will be in three years, in five years? It's necessary to make follow-up because we all understand that it is possible to fight this situation, like cancer, for example. But no one knows what will be in time. And we have uh, a notion of survival rate. We have notion of uh, health rate. So this, with this technology, it's very easy to follow up. We take measurements before, we take measurements in time. And then we have many statistical analysis how we can compare. For example, you see this is initial condition of a person, and you see many holes, many breaks. And this is after treatment, acupuncture treatment. And for treatments like acupuncture, homeopathy, electromagnetic treatment, this is mostly important because it's very difficult to prove that it's efficient. Because it's not just to take your pill and you have headache is gone. It's long range treatment. It takes time. So to prove that it's really efficient, that really makes sense, you need to use some instruments and this is uh, very convenient. Of course, not only medicine. For example, this is the influence of rock music to people. It's one of our favorite lines. And you see, it is increase of energy in time and then decrease. And this peak uh, depends on age. For young people, it is strong increase and long, long, long line, but then decrease. For people of my age, rock music may give decrease immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it would be reflected on energy field. It would be reflected on all parameters as well and headache as well. Then uh, another example, it is uh, now we have big interesting line in studying the influence of music both to presenters, uh, to musicians, and to public. And you see, this is a very famous uh, orchestra conductor, so it's world famous. And it is before symphony, conducting symphony, it is after, you see? So it is absolutely understandable that any artistic performance, it takes a lot of energy from people, a lot. That's why we need to offer them, and we are doing this, some means how to restore their energy, how from this come back to this condition. Because otherwise, you know that we have many, many uh, situations, we have many stories how a big artist was dying because of this because they were unable to restore their energy, they've been using drugs, they've been using alcohol, and then they were dying. So it's, but it's understandable, you see? And here we can take really objective measurement and we can help them how to improve it. This is another example, very interesting example. It's by uh, my good friend, uh, Christos Drosinakis. It's a very famous healer. He lives in Germany, he is uh, Greek, but lives in Germany, he has his own school of people, and he is tremendously efficient. Uh, I can give you just one example. Uh, a mother of my wife uh, was in depression for 15 years. It was clinical depression. And of course, my wife, she's a doctor, she was trying to do everything. She created for her beautiful conditions, living conditions, uh, no demands, she was given everything, but she was in depression. Three sessions of this guy, it's gone. Now she's smiling all the time. She has physical problems, and it's serious physical problems. Uh, she may fail, she may broken her hand, but she's smiling. 
It's only after three sessions, and we have many examples. So he's a very efficient healer, but it doesn't mean he can do everything. No, not of course. We all, uh, technology has its own limitation. Every healer has some power, but some limitations as well. But you see, his energy field is very unusual, very specific, and interesting that it is uh, his moment that he's doing his healing process. In normal life, he's absolutely normal, like everybody. Then this example of uh, young, uh, old uh, lady, 101 uh, years, 101 years, and you see her energy field is quite strong, quite powerful. We have now a special line. We study elderly people, old people, after 90 years old, we have the whole collection of samples. And it's interesting because it's absolutely new phenomenon in our life. Now you know that it's a big problem for many countries because more and more elderly people live in the countries. So we need to understand how to deal with it. But still we have new potential in life. So every one of us in appropriate attitude to your own self have potential to live to this age and even longer. I don't believe that it's possible 250, but 100 something it's possible. <laughs>